Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. I um, appreciate the conversation and the opportunity to have this dialogue. There's a lot of issues going on here today, and I appreciate that. I try to visit a lot of schools, and I, I ask this question here lately. And the question I ask is, what do you think about legalizing marijuana? In the class I was talking with, a few students smiled and smirked and laughed, but then a young lady in the middle of the front row said this. She said, why? Why? Why legalize recreational marijuana? Today's marijuana is more dangerous than ever. Today, the drug is up to 20 times more powerful than it was in the 70s. The medical literature is consistent in this message. Marijuana is addictive, both psychologically and, psych and uh, physiologically. There's a direct association between the frequency of marijuana use and the THC potency with the development of mental health issues, and we heard some of these earlier, psychosis, depression, anxiety, suicide, reshaping of brain matter, and addiction. Chronic adolescent marijuana use has been correlated with cognitive impairment and a decreased ability to do well in work or in school. A study of 30,000 Americans showed that participants who used marijuana were 2.6 times more likely to abuse prescription opiates. And yes, it's a gateway. Other various health effects of marijuana are these. Difficulty thinking, making decisions, solving problems, distorted perceptions, impaired balance and coordination, problems with learning and memory, irregular heart rhythms, respiratory problems and greater risk of lung infections, and paranoia, acute psychosis, including hallucinations, delusions, and loss of identity. A number of things there just to mention a few. Next point, dangers of drugged driving have increased dramatically after legalization in other states. Colorado, Washington State, there's no roadside test for marijuana. You talk about concerns for heavy equipment companies, they have big concerns. And marijuana legalization will not solve Illinois' budget problems, friends. Colorado, Alaska have not reached their targets. And the illicit market is there, and it is still there, and it has not gone away. There's a number of organizations I do want to mention that are not in support of this including these, American Academy of Pediatrics, they're against this. The American Medical Association is against this. American Society of Addiction Medicine is against this. American Heart Association is against this. American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychia Psychia Psychiatry, there we go, try that one, is against this. There's a number of those. In addition, um, the Illinois Chapter or the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Illinois Society of Addiction Medicine, the Illinois Association of Chief of Police, the Illinois Drug Enforcement Officers Association, the Illinois Ser Sheriff's Association, the Illinois Catholic Bishops, Illinois Farm Bureau, Chicago Crime Commission, the School Resource Officers Association, and this list goes on beyond here. Friends, these are groups that are concerned about health and safety of Illinoisans. And they're raising serious concerns about this bill and about marijuana in general. Please think about what we're doing today. My friends, we're not the experts, and there are many experts that are against this. If we pass this, we'll be impacting millions of Illinoisans. And with this bill, the genie will be out of the bottle, and you won't be able to get it back in. It's time to stand up and protect the people of Illinois, friends. In other words, with the young lady that said in the district, the, the student, she said, why? Why are we even contemplating this today? Is this the best we can do for 12 or 13 million Illinoisans today? Is this the best we can do? I move for no vote, please. Thank you. Chair, recognize. Oh. 